hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video i have come up with this look it's a very beautiful wearable little bit of glamorous but still everyday wear look so today i'm going to step out i'm going to go in a event so for some meetings so i got this ready and yeah so i'm going to share the details in my instagram stories please check out there and yeah this is the look i have created if you guys want to know how i created this look then keep on watching and also if you're the first time you came to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell without further ado let's get started well i have already moisturized my face and also i have applied some lip balm and uh, also removed the excess of lip balm it was making my face oily so first I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to use this primer from Estee Lauder, the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. So I'm going to use it to cover up my pores. It is going to blur out all the pores I have in my face. So the base I'm keeping uh, pretty much same like yesterday. I'm going to use this one, the K-Beauty foundation. So it's a dewy foundation. And I'm going to use a thin layer of it. I'm going to take my damp makeup sponge and start blending it. So I love this beautiful hoops. This is so pretty and cute. I got this from Amazon. I think it came as, with a, as a set of three or something. But yeah, these are very beautiful. And it's like matching with my finger rings. So I have applied a very thin layer of the foundation. Next, I'm going to use the same concealer. This is the Swiss Beauty HD Concealer Pen. And you know the gray areas near my mouth, I'm going to cancel it out. And also my eyelid. Today I'm going to do a little bit of heavy correction because I want a little bit of glamorous eye look today. This applicator actually blends most of the concealer. Next, I'm going to blend it using a brush. And it is a given a beautiful even base. Next time I'm going to take this lipstick. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade 50 Wicked. So I'm going to use it as blush. So I'm going to keep it here. I'm not going to make my hand dirty. So I'm going to take because it stains my hand. Last day I tried it and it stained. So I took a little bit of the blush and I'm going to take this primer from Plum Cell Blur Perfecting Primer and Plum has become now brush and I have the old packaging. You know mix the primer with it to make it more lightweight and I'm going to make use a brush to mix all together. Then I'm going to take a brush and apply this blush. I want a little bit of blushy face like this little bit to blend it i'm going to apply it in my forehead little bit here in my chin like this and it has beautifully blended next i'm going to take the blender and blend the forehead it should not be patchy with the foundation so next i'm going to use a highlighting concealer i've been loving this one this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer matte finish and it's in the shade a tan neutral Next, actually today I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it and this concealer is a very good matte concealer. Yesterday I wore the makeup and it actually became a little bit oily. I need a little bit of more brightness in my under my eyes so I'm going to use some more concealer my eyes are looking a little bit tired today yeah now it is good so I'm going to use this powder this is the Maybelline fit me in the shade number medium 25 to set my face and also I'm going to bake my under eyes. First I'm going to set my under eyes. I 
and today I'm going to put excess of powder near my nose because it becomes very oily so I'm going to lay it on my face big next I'm going to do my eye makeup and the brows I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette this is from Suits Beauty Ultimate Shadow Palette and this is my favorite eyeshadow palette so first I'm going to fill in my brows and this shade is perfect to for filling in my brows. It's not like an exact match to my brow hair. When I'm going more towards the front, so I'm taking this shade. I'm going to remove the excess powder here. Next, I'm going to take this Huda Beauty Balm Brow Full and Fluffy Brow Gel in the shade for light brown to set my brow hair. Brows are perfect. Quick. Next, I'm going to slightly, you know, do my means. I'm going to go heavy on kajal, but yeah, I'm going to little bit contour my eyelid. So I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades and a little bit of the brown. Go over my crease area so that I can have slightly defined crease. And it's like it should be blended. Uh, it's a circular motion. I'm blending it. Same thing I'm going to do for my other eye also. And also slightly I'm going to blend it in my eyelid so everything looks blended. Like this, there should not be any harsh line here. Slightly, you know, deeper shade, I'm going to use it to the outer part of my eyelid. I mean, the outer part of my crease to look more lifted. And I'm using the same brush. So I'm going to apply the same brown shade for my lower lash line also. using a pencil brush I'm going to remove the baking today I'm going to do the nose contour a little bit later all right I'm going to use some kajal this is from sugar cosmetics so I'm going to use some kajal to tight line my upper and lower lash line Then I'm going to blend it using an angle brush. I'm going to take a blue liner. I'm going to take this Faces Canada Ultim Pro Long Wear Eyeliner in the shade 13. So I'm going to apply this liner on top of this black. Little bit, I'm going to use it to my lower lash line also. All right, I am happy with that. I'm going to apply some uh, mascara, but not now. I'm going to, you know, a lot of things I did it for my eyes. I'm going to let it, you know, take some rest. Meantime, I'm going to bronze up my face. I'm getting a little late, so I want to do it a little bit quick. So, I'm going to take this palette. From Natasha Denona and I'm going to take this bronzy shade to bronze up my face this is the bronze and glow palette this powder is very beautiful so I'm going to take same thing I'm going to try and Slightly I'm going to contour my nose using the same palette.
I'm going to add a little bit of blush. I'm going to use this uh, from Benefit, the California. This is a very beautiful peachy blush. I don't need much blush uh, because the Pili Beneath Cream blush is going to come out peep through. I'm going to fill in my lips using this lip pencil from uh, Color Bar. And I'm going to use the same lipstick and I'm going to use very little bit of it. Actually, I have already there in this thing. I'm going to apply a little bit more. Next, I'm going to set my face using this face mist from ELF. Next, I'm going to apply a couple of coats of mascara. I'm not using any highlighter or anything because my face is very oily and glowy. So I always get the glow. You can see already my face is glowing because of setting up with mist. So on top of that mascara that was volumizing mascara, I'm going to use this Maybelline Sky High mascara which is like lengthening. So yeah, this is my finished look. So this is how I've created this beautiful blue eye, blushy face, little bit of reddish brown lips. So yeah. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit on the like button. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye.